Ho, ho, hello. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Luke Riley here with Cam Shea. Hey, Luke. Uh, and this is the uh, review commentary for yep. Dirt Rally. Sorry, it's late in the year. Uh, it's dropped kind of late. Yeah, but it's been in early access for, for a while now. So you've been playing this game for a while. I've been in and out of it since like, April or whenever it came out. And then it suddenly dropped in December when everyone thought they were finished work. Uh, and now it's done. So I had to sort of play it now, really uh, get stuck in. <laughs> oh, which you I poor, have. You poor bugger. Which I have. <laughs> and the good news is it's utterly brilliant. It's an excellent, excellent rally game. It's easily Codemasters' greatest rally game to date. Fantastic. Personally, my favourite Codemasters racing game easily in the last decade. Wow. Um, my, son of my, my, my sentimental favourite is BA Supercars 3 uh, yep. from, from way back in the day. But this yep. is this is an utterly brilliant racing game uh, from Codemasters and they really nailed the right uh, kind of attitude, the right... They're really moving in the right direction with their racing games, I think, if this is any indication. Uh, it looks great. It sounds absolutely incredible. Personally, I think it's the best sounding racing game I've ever played. Wow. Yeah, just just the just the uh, the richness and all these sort of all these sounds and, and it's like this symphony of noise. When you're inside a cabin of this, these these cars, there's one particularly later on during this footage, but like there's all these squeaks and vibrations, and every time the revs get really high, the car starts buzzing as it's mm. like, you know, the engine's got kind of straining against its mouth. Mm. I, I, there's squeaking brakes. There's like it's it's just crazy. The sound is incredible. Uh, so yeah, whoever did the sound for this gets an extra long Christmas holiday, <laughs> uh, according to according to me. Um, but no man, like uh, it's easy, it's also well, I mean, it's also easily the best serious rally game since uh, 2004's. Uh, very highly uh, lauded Richard Burns rally, mm. which is still played today by hosts of people who, who mod it consistently every year. Um, but no, man, I really enjoyed it, and I'm continuing to enjoy it. Uh, I played it both with the Thrustmaster TX, which we have in the office, which yep. is a great wheel, and I really yep. enjoy using it. Which you have mounted in, like, a homemade kind of cock. Pit very style. homemade, <laughs> uh, but very like functional. a proper bucket seat. Just, yeah. just to, so you, know, you can picture it. Um, but we also we were lucky enough also to have the standalone shifter, which I think I told you the other day that I turned onto analog mode, which we can now use it as a handbrake. Right, so you kind of yank the handbrake to, to, to get the tail out. Um, but I also played it with the controller extensively as well, and I'm really, really uh, pleased with how it. Could Feels on a controller, especially for a hardcore game like this, where yeah, this is huge risk. You expect it to feel amazing with a wheel, yeah. But the fact is, they have they have to they it has to work for a controller. Oh, it has and it has to. I mean, let's be realistic. It has to work for far more people with a controller yep. than it does for the wheel. Yep. Especially with the costs of the wheels. Um, but no, I, I guess I guess what I want to stress is this: what we're what, what we're watching here, this mini uh, in Finland, it actually is. This is a that well, this was a cut down version of. My first stage win, which took me many hours mm. to attain, mm. uh, and that's one of the things that I kind of appreciate most about the game is that it doesn't tolerate uh, any timidness. Yep. It just wants you to get better. Yep. If you're not good enough for it, it's only advice, and possibly potentially a slightly to its detriment. Its only advice is just get faster mm. and be less of a baby. Basically, <laughs> I must say um, I heard a lot more swearing coming from our game loft during your kind of review uh, playthrough of yeah. this game than with other racing games that you re reviewed this year. Well, as like, Codemasters are obviously, you know, they're, they're they're quite famous for for their signature flashback mm. mechanic, mm. which has been uh, a part of their games for, for quite some time now. Now, uh, this game does not feature that, and it features it does not feature it. Uh, very deliberately, and it's something that I totally appreciate and I totally understand, and I don't want it. Yeah. Um, because it makes the game, it increases the risk, and yep. thus increases the reward. So when you do nail a stage, you get everything right, you are rewarded with that really, you know, exciting stage win. You're like, you know, all those green segments. You're like, yes, 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 yes. Yep. Staying ahead of the competition. Um, and you have to know your, ha your car's handling, you have to understand the pace notes, you have to uh, have a, Once, a yeah. rudimentary knowledge at least of the course ahead of you. Like, there's so many things that have to come together yep. to nail a stage, right? And that's called 
having a learning curve, a steep learning curve. It's steep, that's but very, it very is, rewarding. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the, and you do, the pace notes are, are very good. Um, and, yeah, once those things all start to click, you do become faster and faster. And it, become, it, ha it happens, it ha it's, like, it's like the hour here on a clock. All of a sudden, you just realise that, ah, oh, you know, I'm closer and closer to these opponents' times. Or suddenly, you're like, oh, I'm ahead of these guys. Yep. You don't feel like you've turned any sort of drastic corners. Yep. You, don't, you don't feel like something's just like suddenly clicked in your brain. You're like, now I go fast now. Yeah, it's like, oh, accelerator pedal. Yeah. Hadn't thought of it. Um, but it's this, this, yeah, you just kind of start to realise, oh, I can just be a little bit more aggressive on this mm. corner. I don't have to break here. I'll just get the tire mm. a little more sideways mm. and sort of use the, you know, use the, use the lateral forces on the mm. tyres to sort of wash off some speed. Um, this is a great state. This, Wales is actually one of, Finland is probably my favourite country. Wales, a close second, uh, with all the thick gravel and heaps of water splashes, which we'll see in a moment. I chose the, hopefully someone at Codemasters uh, rec remembers this, I chose the Say It kit car because of the classic screenshot that made me want to buy, buy a PlayStation in the very first place yeah. on the back of the original Colin McRae. Sure. Uh, with a really primitive water splash, you'll see it's actually just coming around this bend. The water splash effects in this game, which I've mentioned before, very incredible. Nice. Very nice. Incredible. Almost as incredible as the sound. Um... But like this, this yeah. There's, there's a lot to like about this game. It's got uh, 39 different vehicles. Yep. Uh, covering the most iconic rally cars. Pretty much everything you'd want, with the exception of Toyota, who I imagine are being, I don't know, curmudgeons. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, like, they've, got, they've got everything else. They've got Audi and, and yeah. Subaru and Ford. And but you, stuff. you were saying that you have to grind a bit to unlock cars. That is that so is where I was racing headed, yeah. So a team. basically, yeah, my, my my chief criticism, I guess, of Dirt Rally is that it kind of it goes back to that really old school car PG, Gran Turismo kind of deal mm. where you've got to grind out your career races to build some cash and then to buy a car. Mm. And I like personally, that's honestly it's quite surprising to me because I feel like because Codemasters, their, their, their last sort of serious racing game, Grid Autosport, um, was was entirely unlike that. It was a real driver for hire kind mm. of style thing where mm. you get offers from teams, you drive their cars in a championship, and then you move on. Yep. So it, there is a bit of grinding involved, uh, which I, I didn't love. So I know it definitely I, I, seems I, at odds with the fact that. It's the, such a serious the reward, game. Yeah, it's such yeah. a serious game, and the reward is getting better at the gameplay. Yeah. Like, you don't need a material reward. It should just be you have, yeah. to, you have to master all the different cars, and that's that's something that's a challenge in and of itself. Yeah, so I, I, per, I think that's its biggest weakness, uh, right. and it's the part, that's the part that sort of drags this game down just a little, in my mind. But technically, uh, it's incredible. Uh, it's a huge amount of fun. Rallycross, which we're seeing here, is which which I was explaining to to, to you, Cam, uh, on another occasion, mm -hmm. is a great format and it suits this game perfectly. Uh, and you'll note—I don't know whether you saw in the first lap—I had to do the Joker lap, which is yep. the uh, yep. sort of the extension of the track, which takes slightly longer to complete. Leave these two guys ahead of me are doing that now, so now I'm going to pull in front of them. But these cars are incredible. I mean, a huge amount of fun to drive because they have just so much power. And it's these cars and on this tarmac surface that you really appreciate the differences between some of the cars that mm. Dirt Rally has. Mm. Like that Mini was, is a car that you really have to get up to speed in and try to keep as much speed as possible yep. because it's very old yep. and it's not that fast. Yep. These cars, they do 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, per hour in 2 seconds. <laughs> yep. uh, and so when you plant the throttle in these cars, they just squat down on their rear springs and they just burst Nice. off the line it's yep. crazy uh, and it's a huge amount of fun so you got to get into these big drifts and you're kind of balancing the throttle and the steering and all this kind of stuff um, so it's a huge amount of fun this represents sort of I guess one of the tiers there's rally cross there's hill climb which yep. is this Pikes Peak and then there's the traditional rallies which we get at Germany, Sweden uh, Monaco and all that kind of stuff I gave it 8.9 uh, I enjoyed it immensely I'm going to continue enjoying it um, but yeah I'm just a little bit a little bit surprised about the career mode just feels a little phoned in. Yeah, you know, yeah. With, with We've got so economy. much else right. But yeah, for everything else on, uh, well, everything else with four wheels, stick with IGN. Thanks, Luke. Thanks, Cam.